Final weekend of February in Central Illinois, and it's a Saturday matinee for Senior Day in the Twin Cities as the conference-leading Illinois State Redbirds entertained Red Hot Valparaiso. A quick look at the Valley standings, and Kristen Gillespie's squad enters today's tilt. Todd with Belmont atop the league standings, while Valpo looks for a little bit of late-season momentum. Hi, good everyone. Welcome inside SEFQ Arena in Normal alongside my partner, Sean Johnson. I'm John Fitzgerald. We head down the home stretch of the regular season. Three games remain on the Valley slate, and the defending tournament champion, Illinois State Redbirds, are in a great position to pick up their first ever regular season crown under the direction of head coach Kristen Gillespie. You're right, John. Kristen just picked up her 20th win the first time that, mi that milestone was reached for the Redbirds. Can't slip up on senior day, no looking ahead. Three left, a really big game today for the Birds. The visitors from Valparaiso, they're red hot. But two weeks ago, this was a beacon ball club that had dropped four straight and seven of eight. But fifth year head coach Mary Evans is right at the ship and she has an outstanding senior guard to work with at Olivia Brown. Part of the reason, John, they've righted the ship and won three in a row is the play of Olivia Brown. 17 points, 16 points, 16 points. She's only missed seven shots in the three-game winning streak. Scored zero the first time against the Birds. Going to have to score a little bit better the way she has recently if the Beacons are going to play well today. There are many ways to describe the outstanding career of Redbird forward Paige Robinson who's now over 2,500 career points for her career and also one of the top 100 scorers in NCAA history. One word to describe her, John, would be elite. Paige Robinson, an elite scorer, an elite player in the Valley, second in the league in scoring, second in total points, 23, 6, and 5 this first matchup in only 21 minutes. If she gets a full 40 today, her player of the year campaign is going to look a lot better.